Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 12th of November, the local media headlines today. Bus users in Cornwall might soon get some idea of what's happening with more than £23 million announced by the government more than two years ago to bring down fares. At one stage, some routes were going to be free. Like many promises made in an election year, it never happened. Although, to be fair, that was largely down to Covid. Now, Cornwall Council is talking to bus operators about some adjustments to tickets and prices, but it won't happen until next April. The Council is also preparing to put up car parking charges with effect from early next year. A formal announcement will be made next month. And if you'd like to be the Liberal Democrats' parliamentary candidate in North Cornwall at the next general election, I can tell you that there is now a vacancy. Pirate FM has been doing a consistently good job of keeping up to date with Covid deaths in Cornwall and tells us that there have been 15 in a week. This is a significant increase on recent months and yet comes at a time when new cases generally appear to be falling. The Falmouth Packet reported on the Poppies to Paddington train, one of many Remembrance Day events in Cornwall. The Cornish Times also notes Remembrance Day. And finally, Cornwall Live has been to the supermarkets and discovered that some people are wearing Covid face coverings and some people are not. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.